Idem! Hello everyone! So, today's video is a little bit older content just because I had some problems with my PC and I couldn't use the newest footage what I did so I decided to use something older but unfortunately it's this video is a little bit shorter due to the content isn't finished you will see in the second part of this video that I'm just uh, preparing and fixing the run out on one rock face but unfortunately due to the weather almost every single day is raining and the surface the rock is still wet and I'm not uh, feeling safe to, to, to do this uh, in these conditions unfortunately this video is due to this uh, problem uh, a little bit shorter I fixed everything with my PC and next week you will see the the newest content what I wanted to use a little bit earlier and now to the video hey. 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 <laughs> it's Sunday Saturday and the date 20 it's 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 20th do picha to nigdy nie wiem powiedzieć po angielsku. Aha. Today on the schedule is something what I wanted to do for a really long time and uh, why not to choose almost winter time because it's uh, really cold today. I'm going to show you what it is. So I'm going to unhook my bike from my bike rack. So for today I choose my uh, Freeride 26 uh, rocket launcher made by uh, Noli, the best Freeride machine ever. Um, I, was, uh, I was planning to hit this gap uh, a long time, actually this gap looked completely different than, uh, than now, a couple years ago. Hard to explain how big it is because GoPro is always uh, uh, changing the, the, the fish eyes, changing the, the scope. But it's uh, I think like four, maybe five meter tall and six meters uh, uh, long. It's a decent size gap. Safety first. Mala rozcvička. Idem! <laughs> Woo! Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> right. It's been such a long time to hit, to hit finally something big. Feels so good. Idem. And uh, I didn't record. I basically already hit it three times today and I was honestly a little bit nervous so I didn't didn't uh, record anything before because I wanted to focus only on, on this jump and uh, yeah this is the in run the in run is pretty easy as well you are going from there and before a couple years ago here was a tree so this corner here was uh, way more closed and lots of people were touching with the elbow the tree right here and the uh, and the jump was way smaller and this road didn't exist here here was just a hiking trail and the and the 
uh, in the landing was just a, a narrow, narrow path. A couple years ago, one freerider decided to make some some changes here. I have no idea when when the when the tree was cut down, but uh, that's basically everything what I know about this jump. And uh, the name the name of this jump is called Brutus. Another thing what I what I heard was that uh, this whole thing is uh, in development. So they built this this road, and it looks like maybe some houses are gonna be built here. So this epic legendary jump is uh, gonna be just a memory for for free riders. I, I wasn't actually here on this place uh, a really long time and what actually changed here a lot is uh, this place because before everything here was a uh, kind of construction site yeah take a look on the view from here like finally you can actually see some kind of uh, part of Vancouver from here because usually as I mentioned here was just a pile of uh, of construction stuff and yeah so there is Vancouver this is English Bay and that way is uh, Vancouver Island true guys but uh, what I want to say as well is that I am so happy that I finally hit something uh, uh, in decent size it's a, it's a big difference when you are jumping something in the bike park and you know everything there and to jump something what's uh, basically a, a free ride jump. Build it by someone and uh, yeah it feels way better because uh, the consequences are way higher and uh, yeah I am super happy I'm stoked because it was a really long time that I hit something like this so parking lot for for hikers and bikers and they build it a uh, facility for bikes like this you've got a pump tools stuff what's usually in bike park is just on uh, on the bottom of, of, a, of a mountain and of course toilets and yeah toilets for jerking off <laughs> No dig, no right. And today it's your last walk! Uh, today it's a big announcement. Uh, yesterday... I bought a new camera, so now I'm gonna pick it up and yeah, I'm looking forward from now on to, to step up a little bit in the quality. We are, we are right now in downtown Vancouver. This is the famous Grenville Street and this is how it looks here. on your way out as a proof that you picked it okay, up. Okay, okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Bye -bye. Okay guys, here we've got it. Here we've got it. So, next videos are gonna be hopefully a little bit uh, sharper and better. You know what I love about this country? That you've got such a free hand to customize your car and no one cares. Just take a look on this uh, mass destruction uh, Pure Armageddon style truck. Just take a look. Take a look on that bumper. It's sick. 
I can can you imagine that you are driving your uh, your regular shit box and suddenly you are real rear-ended by this? That's cool.